Alright guys, I'm going to show you how I make my bell siphons. Uh, I'm setting up a system here at Lakeside School. Um, you can buy expensive bulkhead fittings to make these bell siphons go through the bottom, or you can make your own uh, by going to Home Depot or whatever you got. Um, first off, you need a male and a female. This fits a uh, one inch PVC tubing. Male, female, screw on there. Alright? Then you have cut about five inches of tubing, depending on how high you want your water. Then you have your um, you have an egg, uh, extender, an expander, a uh, size change, and it goes on top here, like so. It's a little wider cup. Then this, the secret is inner tubes. You can also, if you can get some good washers, do it. I cut up two inner tubes, put it in there, Teflon tape. This goes inside the bed, this goes underneath the bed. And then you're ready to put another one inch tube wherever you want to go, wherever it's going to drain to. Inside the bed, this sits on top. It's just a piece, uh, and this is what's going to do the siphoning. And then this goes over the whole thing, inside the rock. This protects the bell siphon from the rock, this big piece. So. Whatever you can design to go around and protect the rock, it doesn't even have to have a lid. It just has to stop rock from getting into your bell siphon. And this goes right up against the bottom of the grill bed. So here's a uh, here's one right here. I'll show you. Right there, you can have, there's one installed right there. And then like I turn it around here. Oh, I can't turn it around. Okay, but basically that goes on top. And then the protector goes on top of that, and we fill this thing full of uh, volcanic rock. So, those are the bell siphons in a nutshell. I didn't figure them out until I actually built one, but they're pretty easy to build, uh, just, just a Home Depot. So, have a good day.